In this training video, I'm going to introduce the concept of a bucket in Tableau. And the bucket concept uh, is very useful for categorizing or basically aggregating things that belong together. So I'm going to start with a very simple two-case example. Um, in this particular spreadsheet that I'm showing on the screen, I have a list of DMAs, which starts in Abilene, Sweetwater, and goes down 182 rows down to Zanesville. These are regions where um, testing, uh, testing has been completed. Some of these DMAs have been tested and other, others haven't been tested. And so in column H here, I have a list of tested DMAs. And that list is 50 DMAs long, 50 out of the 183. And so what I'd like to be able to do is use this information with uh, a database that I have <coughs> of um, say few uh, volumes of something sold and I want to put them in two buckets. I want to put one bucket uh, called tested DMAs and the other bucket non-tested DMAs. And so I can use a calculated field in Tableau to uh, do the work for me. And so what I'm going to do is if uh, I'll write a little formula here in Excel. If the DMA is equal to the name here, then give the bucket a number one. And so I do that for all 50 of these um, bu DMAs that were tested. So this is really the tested bucket. I'm going to assign it number one. And if if you're not one of these DMAs, and just send it uh, number zero. So the untested bucket will be zero. So this is just a big if-then-else block that's done with a macro in Tableau, I mean in Excel, and I'll just copy this and paste this formula, this calculated field formula into Tableau. And so I've worked out the details of how this works, and of course you have to use quotes around the DMA name, and so you see there's a triple double quote here, here and here, in order for the quote to show up in the Excel formula. So if I copy this set here and switch over to Tableau. I can create a calculated field which I've done and I'm going to show you. I'm going to edit this calculated field. I called it in MVT and I've pasted this formula that I've shown in the Excel file. So if the DMA is Abilene Sweetwater then one and this goes on down to the bottom 50 rows later and then L0 so everything is in place. So I can take that column or take that calculated field, put it in the dimension column because it's either one bucket or the other. So I don't want it to be treated. It'll come in naturally as a measure because uh, the number that's being returned is a zero or one, but actually I want it as a dimension. So I'll just drag that and drop it on the table. And so once I do that, my column headings are zero and one. And all I did was I changed the edit edited the alias to say not in test versus in test and so now I have a table that shows me um, for example the number of stations involved in the testing not in the testing for the various months of the database this database is about five million lines long so the aggregations are happening um, for me automatically using this particular bucket set so it's a very quick way to create um, a multi-set or a multi-component bucket. So I could have, in this case, I have two buckets, in testing and out of testing. But I'm going to show in, um, in another video tied to this one how you can use buckets to set up a time analysis. So for example, in this case, I may have um, done testing in particular months of, uh, of this table. And so I do testing in a couple months, and then I stop the testing, and then I do some more testing. And I'm going to show in the next video how you use time uh, to set up uh, buckets also. And that's a very useful technique. 